Hi, and welcome to this uh, Catapult video on using the project parameters to organize the project browser and sheet index in Autodesk Revit. So I'm going to start off by creating a new project using the architectural template. And the first thing I'll do here is create a new sheet using the out-of-the-box template, which is fine. And it'll be called A101 Unnamed. Then I'll go ahead and create a sheet list using the sheet name and number as you would see on a drawing index and that will be there and right now it just has our one sheet in there so I'll go ahead and rename the first sheet to floor plans and I'll create some more sheets here in the schedule and so I'll have two sheets of floor plans and maybe a couple of sheets of elevations and I'll just keep adding sheets through the schedule and pretty soon I have a complete sheet list. And notice though that I only have one actual sheet created, but I can use these as placeholders and create all of my sheets all at one time. That's nice. But it would be nice to be able to organize the sheet list I have in my project browser. And if I come up here to the user interface and go to project browser organization, I can prefix or organize these sheets by the prefix. So if I edit this to uh, sort it by the sheet number using the first two characters. What I'll be able to do is then apply this and then you'll see the sheets are now organized by their first two characters. And most architectural firms group their sheets by uh, A100s or floor plans, A200s or exterior elevations and so on. So it makes sense to do it this way. But what we can do is we can take it a little further we can organize things a little bit better So I'm going to come in here to my schedule and I'm going to add some parameters and I'm going to add a project parameter and I think I'll call this one, let's see, sheet grouping name. Sounds good. It'll be text. I'll put it under the group other. And I'll move that up to the front. And I'll add another parameter. I'll call this um, sheets uh, sheet schedule group grouping and that'll be text and other as well and let's call this one sheet list grouping let's get rid of the name there we go and I'll, you'll see what these parameters are for in a second and I'll go ahead and reorganize this a little bit, put the sheet schedule grouping to the front. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do here is put in values for these parameters that will help me organize the project browser and also my sheet list as well. So I'm going to go ahead and label under sheet schedule grouping basically the discipline that these sheets are. So I have general information for the cover sheet and the general project information sheet. So I'll just go ahead and add architectural to all these. And for the sheet list grouping, I'm going to add some values here that will allow me to further refine how things are going to get sorted. So I'll start the cover sheet with say 0 0.1 cover sheet and this one will be 0 0.2 cover uh, general information and I'll start the floor plans at say 1.1 floor plans and I'll start adding values in here for these that will give me a sorting uh, mechanism that should come in handy in my uh, project browser. So when I do this, you can see my floor plans are still grouped by the uh, sheet number. But the cover sheet and the project information are way at the bottom. So if I come into my sheets grouping and I go ahead and create a new sheet grouping uh, organization and I'm going to sort it or I'm going to group it by the sheet list grouping and I'll use the first two characters there.
go ahead and make that current. Now you can see that all of my sheets are being grouped by that first uh, two characters in the sheet list grouping. And let me go ahead and give it all the characters. That makes it a little bit easier to see. So now your project browser is better organized here for the sheets. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. And let me say this for the sheet list itself. I'm going to rename this to be have uh, to call it all parameters. I'm going to duplicate it and then rename this one. To be for the cover sheet. Now, the cover sheet is going to have a copy of this schedule, and the schedule is going to have a lot of other sheets in it that aren't going to be actual sheets that we're going to use. So in this particular schedule, I'm going to modify some of the parameters that I'm going to use here and I'm going to use the sheet schedule grouping as a header and I'm going to sort it by the sheet number and I'm going to use the sheet schedule grouping field as a way of sorting it but I want to hide that field so I'm going to hide that field and then I'll rename sheet number and sheet name as they're going to actually appear on the cover sheet. And then for this I'll change the text size for the uh, body and the header text to make it look good. So that now you see that the architectural drawings are now organized as well as the sheet information. So I think I want to modify this a little bit. Let me go ahead and add in that sheet grouping again and organize it by the sheet list grouping. Let's see if I can do this. So I'll sort it by the sheet list grouping, then by the sheet schedule grouping, and then finally by the sheet number. Again, hide that first uh, sheet list grouping and sheet schedule grouping parameters. We don't want this to show up in the on the title block. So that looks like this. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted because I want the architecturals to be all grouped together, but I want the general information to be above. So let's go back to this. And instead of doing this this way, I think what we're going to do is add another parameter. And we're going to call this one Sheet Schedule Index. This is going to be an integer, just a number. And group it under other as well. And we'll move that up as well. And then I don't need sheet list grouping, do I? No. We should remove that. So then there's sorting and grouping. go ahead and add that back into our all parameters so I can actually go ahead and edit these things. So go ahead and put that up there and now in this sheet schedule index field I'll just put in the numbers of how I want these things to actually sort by discipline. So all the general information will be zero, all the architecturals will be one So sort by the group sheet index, then by the sheet schedule grouping, put the header in, then by the sheet number. And there we have it. There we have the general information above the architectural. So that'll work. Okay, let's go ahead and edit the parameters again to hide the index as well. So there we go. But how do we deal with multiple disciplines and get everything uh, set up exactly the way we want it. Well we could go ahead and add to our uh, master schedule all the ones we need. Let's go ahead and just add this to the schedule or add this to the cover sheet just to show what this looks like. Now, the big problem with this is that the architectural group is really close to the general information group there's not a whole lot of space there and you can't you can't edit the spacing of the cells 
So I think what we're going to end up doing is that is creating additional schedules for each different discipline. But the first thing I want to do is, let's see, let's duplicate this and we'll call this drawing index uh, architectural. And I will, let's see, I'll rename this to be general. So I'll just go ahead and duplicate again all of these for each individual discipline is going to end up being on my cover sheet. And this is something you would do in your template so that once you get your template start started, uh, once you start your projects off with your template, this will already be there. So all you have to do basically is just start filling this in as you get the drawings from your consultants. So there's one for MEP and that should be good. So the only thing I have to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fill in some new sheets for structural. So go ahead and put a two in there. We'll make this one uh, structural. And call it S1. Give it a structural title. Go ahead and add some more. Flesh this out. I don't need a sheet list grouping because this isn't actually going to be a sheet that I'm going to put in my project. This is just a sheet in the in the schedule that'll end up being on my on my cover sheet. Yeah, this will be a framing plan, and I'll do uh, let's see a roof framing plan. change this one to ground floor framing plan and we'll add another sheet for details okay all right then I'm going to add one for MEP or actually just for mechanical. This will be M1. And I'll go ahead and add additional sheets for all the other disciplines that I'm going to need. And I'll actually have to separate out mechanical, electrical, and plumbing as separate ones. So I'll go ahead and add that. And so now here's our final sheet list. We have mechanical, structural, electrical, plumbing. And now what I can do is set up my my sheet sorting in this schedule. I'll sort it by the sheet index and now zeros, ones, twos, threes, four are all in order. So that's the way the final list is going to look. But then what I can do is go into my to each of my discipline specific schedules and set up a filter. And I'll filter it and I'll say if the sheet schedule grouping equals architectural those are the only sheets that are going to appear in this particular schedule. So in the general, I'll go ahead and change that filter to sort by a sheet schedule grouping of general. I'll do the same thing for uh, my mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. Now here I have one schedule for everything. I'm going to go ahead and change this to mechanical and what I'm going to end up having to do here is duplicating it and making one for electrical and plumbing. So let me go ahead and do this really quickly. I'll rename this to mechanical, duplicate it, rename it to electrical. Duplicate it. And I'll change the filtering here, so change that to electrical and duplicate this again and make this for plumbing and change its filtering condition and 
And so there's my original schedule. I'll go ahead and drag and drop the architectural on, and it'll snap to the exact same place the other one did, which is really nice. But the problem is, is that I'm seeing the title come in twice. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the appearance tab for that schedule and uncheck title and headers. And I'll have to do that for each and every one because I think that's the way they all came in. Yep. Go ahead and uncheck those. Yeah, that's the way we want it to appear. So let me just go through these and make sure everything looks okay. So get rid of it out of the mechanical and the plumbing. and the structural. And I don't know why this got renamed to first floor, but I'm just going to go ahead and delete that schedule. I don't need it anymore. Okay, so now that that's done, I can start dragging and dropping my schedules in. So I'll put in my structural next. And that one, I forgot to filter that one out, so let me go ahead and fix that real quick. There we go. And right now, then, I'll just go ahead and drag and drop in mechanical, electrical, and then plumbing. OK, then the last thing I'm going to do is start moving these things up and it makes sense to go up to the top and work my way down. So I'll take the architectural and I'll just use my arrow keys to nudge it up until basically that outer blue frame meets the schedule above it. Go ahead and nudge that up. You can use the shift and arrow keys to move things uh, two or three times as much. It makes it easier to make big jumps. So there you have it. So now we have a well-organized, good-looking drawing index. It looks pretty good. And our sheets are well-organized in our project browser. So hope you, uh, hope you like it. If you have any comments, just uh, let me know. Okay, thanks.